Hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar on the simulation and analysis of Halbach array magnet topologies. I am Sumit Singh Yu working as a product manager at EMWorks. Halbach arrays are fascinating because they can significantly enhance the performance of device and today we'll look at some different configurations of Halbach array linear and circular topologies. We'll explore how EMWorks can help us simulate and analyze these designs, making it easier to understand. By the end of our time together, I hope you'll have some valuable insights into how to use our software to optimize your magnetic designs. So let's jump right in. All right, let's take a look at our agenda for today. First, we'll start with the concept of Halbach arrays. I'll explain what they are and how they work, laying the foundation for our discussion. Next, we'll look into some applications of Halbach arrays followed by design challenges, and then we'll explore two type of configurations. Finally, we'll wrap things up with conclusions, and I'll open the floor for a QA session where I encourage all of you to ask any questions you may have. Now, let's look at the concept of Halbach arrays. At its core, a Halbach array is a specialized magnetic assembly designed to enhance the magnetic field on one side while canceling it on the opposite side. This unique arrangement allows for more efficient use of magnetic materials. To visualize this, think about the Halbach magnetic ring. It combines two key arrangements, the radial and parallel configurations of magnets. This clever design maximizes the magnetic field in one direction while minimizing it in the other. The real magic happens when we arrange the permanent magnets in such a way that the magnetic field on one side of the array is nearly zero. This means we can focus the magnetic field exactly where we need it, improving the overall efficiency of applications like electric motors and magnetic levitation systems. So that's a brief overview of Halbach arrays. Next, we'll look at some practical applications of these innovative designs. Now, let's explore some exciting applications of Halbach array permanent magnets. First up is magnetic levitation or maglev. Halbach arrays are particularly suited for maglev systems because they provide strong magnetic fields on one side while effectively cancelling them on the other. This feature leads to highly efficient levitation, minimizing friction and allowing for smooth and fast transportation. Next, we have electric motors and generators. The Halbach configuration significantly improves magnetic field concentration which translates to higher efficiency and reduced losses in these applications. By optimizing the magnetic field, we can achieve better performance and lower energy consumption. Another notable application is in particle accelerators. Here, Halbach arrays create uniform magnetic fields that are essential for bending particle beams. This capability is crucial in various scientific instruments, helping to advance research in fields like particle physics, Lastly, let's talk about magnetic bearings. These bearings utilize Halbach arrays to create frictionless and contactless systems. Thanks to their unique magnetic field properties, they enhance performance by reducing wear and tear, leading to longer service life and lower maintenance costs. These applications highlight just a few ways Halbach arrays are making a significant impact in technology and engineering. Next, we'll discuss some of the design challenges associated with these arrays. Now, let's shift our focus to some of the design challenges associated with Halbach arrays. First and foremost is the precision in magnet alignment. It's crucial that the magnets are perfectly aligned any misalignment or deviation can significantly reduce the array's efficiency. This misalignment can lead to uneven magnetic fields, which ultimately impacts performance. Achieving this level of precision can be quite challenging during the manufacturing and assembly processes. Next, we have high material costs. Many Halbach arrays rely on rare earth magnets, like neodymium, which can drive up production costs. This reliance on expensive materials can be a barrier to widespread adoption, especially in cost-sensitive applications. Another challenge is balancing field strength and configuration. When optimizing the magnetic field strength for specific applications, designers often face trade-offs. It's important to find the right balance between the desired field strength and the array's physical configuration 
which can complicate the design process. Lastly, we need to consider electromagnetic interference. The strong directed magnetic fields generated by Halbach arrays can interfere with nearby sensitive electronics. This interference can pose challenges in applications where precise electronic control is necessary, necessitating careful design considerations to mitigate these effects. Moving ahead. Now let's talk about MWorks software. MWorks is a powerful standalone platform that offers advanced electromagnetic and multiphysics simulation capabilities. Whether you're working on designing electric motors, magnetic systems, or any other electromagnetic applications, MWorks provides the tools you need to succeed. One of the standout features of MWorks is its integration with Autodesk Inventor. This built-in functionality allows for seamless design and simulation workflows. You can easily transition from design to analysis without the need for complex data transfers or adjustments. The MWorks portfolio encompasses a range of solutions tailored for various applications, ensuring that you can find the right tools to meet your specific needs. Up next, we'll dive deeper into the Halbach Magnet Array Circular Arrangement. Let's start with case one, where we have a four pattern arrangement of the Halbach Array. In this configuration, the magnets are arranged in a way that forms four distinct rings of magnetic fields. This arrangement is strategic because it optimizes the magnetic field on one side while effectively canceling it on the opposite side. As we look at the vector plot, you can see the direction and strength of the magnetic field clearly indicated. The contour plot further illustrates how the magnetic field intensity varies across the array. The benefit of this design is that it provides a strong, focused magnetic field where it's needed, making it particularly effective for applications such as magnetic bearings on motors, where precise magnetic control is essential. By reducing the magnetic field on the opposite side, we also minimize interference with surrounding components, enhancing overall system performance. Now let's move on to case two, which features the eight pattern arrangement of the Halbach array. In this setup, the magnets are configured to create eight distinct magnetic rings. This increased number of rings allows for greater refinement in the magnetic field distribution compared to the four pattern arrangement. The vector and contour plots highlight how the magnetic field strength is more concentrated in specific areas, providing even more robust performance. This arrangement is particularly advantageous in applications like electric motors and generators where enhancing the magnetic field strength can lead to significant improvements in efficiency and reduced energy losses. The tighter configuration allows for greater magnetic coupling and can improve torque output, making this design highly effective for high performance applications. Next, let's examine case three, characterized by an inward magnetized arrangement. In this design, all magnets are oriented to point inward focusing the magnetic field toward the center of the array. This inward magnetization creates a concentrated magnetic field that is beneficial for applications requiring a strong centralized magnetic force. As shown in the plots, the magnetic field is intensified in the center, providing a powerful point of attraction or repulsion depending on the application. This configuration is often used in scenarios like magnetic levitation systems, where channeling magnetic force effectively is crucial for achieving stability and reducing drag. The inward arrangement can also simplify the design of the surrounding components, as it allows for a more predictable magnetic environment, which can be advantageous in complex systems. Finally, we come to case four, where the magnets are arranged in both upward and downward orientations. In this configuration, the magnets alternate in their magnetization. The upward magnetization is represented by the dot symbol, while the downward magnetization is indicated by the cross symbol. This setup creates strong, unidirectional magnetic fields, which is incredibly useful for applications that require high stability and directionality in the magnetic field. The resulting magnetic field configuration can be harnessed in applications like linear motors, where a consistent and powerful magnetic force is necessary for effective operation. This arrangement minimizes magnetic field distortion and ensures that the magnetic forces are directed precisely where needed, enhancing performance and efficiency. 
Moreover, the use of upward and downward magnetization allows for versatile applications, enabling designers to fine-tune the magnetic properties according to specific needs. Up next, we'll discuss the Harbach Magnet Array in Linear Arrangement. Now, let's discuss the Halbach Magnet Array in a Dual Linear Arrangement. In this configuration, we have two linear Halbach arrays positioned next to each other. This setup is particularly interesting because the arrays interact with each other to create a strong magnetic field in the space between them while generating a much weaker field at their ends. This design takes advantage of the unique properties of Halbach arrays to enhance magnetic field strength where it's needed most. The interaction between the two arrays allows for a focused magnetic field that can be utilized in various applications such as magnetic actuators or linear motors. By concentrating the magnetic field between the arrays, we can achieve improved performance and efficiency in systems that rely on strong magnetic interactions. This dual arrangement is an excellent example of how Halbach arrays can be employed strategically to maximize magnetic effects while minimizing undesirable field interactions at the edges. It showcases the versatility and potential of Halbach arrays in practical engineering applications. Moving on to next slide, we will examine the vector and contour plots resulting from simulations conducted with MWORK software. Here, the vector plot clearly illustrates the direction and intensity of the magnetic fields generated by the dual linear Halbach arrays. You can see how the strong magnetic field lines are concentrated between the two arrays, while the field strength diminishes towards the ends. The contour plot complements this visualization by showing the variation in magnetic field intensity across the setup. The contours highlight areas of high and low magnetic field strength, allowing us to understand how the design affects the overall magnetic environment. These plots provide valuable insights into the effectiveness of the dual linear arrangement and validate the design choices made during the simulation process. By leveraging MWORK software, we can analyze these configurations in detail ensuring optimal performance for our applications. Now I will walk you through how to set up and run a magnetostatic analysis on a Halbach magnet array using our software, which has built-in CAD capabilities via Autodesk Inventor. First, let's create a new project. To do this, we start by opening MWorks and selecting the option for a standard project. Here we already have a magnet arrangement designed and generated using the CAD editor which is built into the standalone Imwork software. For this example, we've used Autodesk Inventor to build the Halbach Magnet Array. Having this CAD integration makes the design process seamless as we can directly modify and analyze our geometry within the same environment. Once the model is ready, the next step is to create a study. We do this by selecting the magnetostatic analysis from the available options. This type of analysis is perfect for studying static magnetic fields generated by permanent magnets, like the ones in our Halbach array. Once the study is created, we are ready to move on to the next phase assigning materials and magnetization. Now we need to assign materials and magnetization directions to each magnet in the model. We can access the materials library within the software, where we'll select neodymium as the material for this simulation. Neodymium is a common choice for strong permanent magnets in Halbach arrays. Once the materials are assigned, we specify the magnetization direction for each magnet according to our design requirements. For instance, some magnets will have radial magnetization, while others will have parallel or inward magnetization depending on the specific arrangement we are simulating. Next, we move on to meshing the model. The software allows us to choose between using a global mesh size or applying specific mesh controls to refine certain areas of the model. For this demo, I'll apply a global mesh setting, which provides a good balance between accuracy and computational efficiency. For more complex simulations or areas that need finer deal, we could use local mesh control to ensure precise results. 
Once the material assignments and meshing are complete, we are ready to run the simulation. Simply click on the solve button and the software will perform the analysis. Since this is a magnetostatic simulation, we don't need to worry about setting up any boundary conditions or excitations which makes the process quicker and more streamlined. For other types of analysis such as transient or frequency domain, we could apply those additional settings as needed. Once the simulation is complete, we can view the results by expanding the results folder in the project tree. Here we have access to various plots and data including vector plots, contour plots and other key metrics like force density. For this example, we will focus on the magnetic field vector plot which shows the direction and intensity of the magnetic field throughout the Halbach array. The contour plot gives us a clear visualization of how the magnetic field strength varies across the model with different colors indicating different field intensities. These plots provide valuable insights into the performance of the magnet arrangement, helping us make informed design decisions. Finally, we can easily duplicate the study and modify certain parameters, such as the magnetization direction or material properties, to see how these changes impact the results. Next, we'll explore some conclusions based on our findings and insights from the simulations. As we reach the end of our presentation, Let's summarize the key points we've covered regarding Halbach arrays. We began by introducing the concept of Halbach arrays, highlighting their configuration that allows them to create strong magnetic fields on one side while effectively canceling them out on the opposite side. This property is particularly useful in applications requiring focused magnetic interactions. We then explored various arrangements, starting with the four pattern and eight pattern circular arrangements. Next, we discussed the inward magnetized arrangement, where all magnets point inward, concentrating the magnetic field at the center. This design is ideal for applications like magnetic levitation systems, where a strong centralized force is crucial. Following that, we examined the dual linear arrangement, where two Halbach arrays work together to create a strong magnetic field between them while minimizing it on the ends. This interaction illustrates the potential for enhanced performance in applications like linear motors and actuators. Finally, the vector and contour plot we viewed, generated by MWorks simulation software, provided us with valuable insights into the magnetic field distributions for the various configurations we discussed. In conclusion, Halbach arrays are versatile and powerful tools in electromagnetic design offering unique benefits for a range of applications. Thank you all for your time and attention today. I hope this presentation has provided you with valuable insights into the fascinating world of Halbach arrays and their diverse applications. I encourage you to explore further how these concepts can be integrated into your projects and applications. Your feedback and questions are welcome and I look forward to an engaging discussion. Thank you once again and have a great day.